Hey guys, Justin here from 275 Times. Today we're with Joseph Leavaa, who's Associate Commissioner at the Commerce Commission. And he's also um, a former Mangari resident, and he was one of the first people we ever interviewed on 275 Times back when we started our magazine quite a few years ago now. So we're very fortunate to have him here with us this morning, and we're just going to be talking to him about the Commerce Commission's work in trying to support people during this time um, with the COVID-19 pandemic. Kia ora, Joseph. How's it going? Hey, uh, Marole, kia ora. Uh, Justin, how are you, man? Thanks for having me on. Awesome. How, how are you guys finding, your, you and your family, finding the lockdown? Well, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm missing takeaways. I shouldn't say that. I, I worked in healthcare for about eight years. But, you know, I, I, I can't lie. I'm missing the takeaways. Uh, Fair but, enough. But on a serious note, we're 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 doing pretty good actually, um, Justin. I'm I'm really enjoying um, the sort of enforced um, family time, um, you know, working from home, which is which is wonderful to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll never ever get this slow down um, time, this period, uh, ever again. Sort of. So it's uh, I think it's a blessing. The kids are probably sick of me. Cool. So not everyone out there probably knows about what the Commerce Commission does and, and what your yeah. role entails. So maybe just tell us a little bit about what the Commerce Commission does and what your role is and, and how you came to be in this um, awesome role. Our job is to protect consumers and make sure that markets work well. Um, you might have um, seen in the, in the media recently, we have taken Pack and Save Market Act to, to court um, uh, with, uh, and the charges are for price discrepancies. Some of the other areas are responsible lending. We recently settled with the ANZ um, another 29.4 million after a six million dollar settlement. And uh, in terms of making sure markets work well, we we've finished a uh, a fuel study which was looking at um, uh, the, the you know the state of competition in the fuel market, and we found that Kiwis probably are paying too much for their fuel, and so we. Uh, made recommendations um, to the government, which um, they've mostly picked up. You know, and finally, you know, we do work uh, within um, the area of product safety. So we have uh, fantastic investigators that do mystery shops at, you know, your, your local $2 store. And what oh, they're wow. looking for, what they're looking for are dangerous toys for the, that are being sold to younger, younger yeah, people. Yeah our young ones, our tariki and our mokopuna, and making sure that those um, products don't hit the markets mm. uh, and that they're, you know, taken off the shelves as soon as um, uh, they're proved to be uh, unsafe. But, cool. yeah, and it's, cool. it's that type of work. Cool. So um, what's, um, if people are struggling at the moment with um, paying loans or rent, paying the power, um, what's your advice for who they should talk to? Okay, there's probably been quite a lot of advice on this going out there, so I'm not going to spend too much time. Um, I will say that, you know, the government set up an awesome website uh, um, in response to this crisis. It's www.covid19.govt.nz, uh, and they've got some um, fantastic information about financial assistance. I think in times like this, um, it's always best to ring uh, ring whoever you need to ring and ring them early so for example with your um, rent i wouldn't um you know i wouldn't wait till i'm 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 on the edge and i'm missing payments call them straight away see if you can work out a deal everyone knows what's going on but don't stop paying your rent um uh, until you've done that if you've um you know you're having trouble paying your your utilities your power gas internet Give them a call and um, ask them if they can defer payments, if, if there's any way they can work with you. Um, that, like I said, they have, everyone knows we're all in the same situation, so hopefully there's something they can do there. If you have a loan or uh, with a finance company um, or you've got some goods on credit, give them a call. Um, call them early, call them straight away, explain to them your situation, what's going on, why you may not be able to make payments, and they may be able to, you know, um, change the, the payment amount or um, or even, you know, give you a bit of a payment holiday. But mm -hmm. keep in mind that any time you're, um, you're delaying or, or reducing payments, you're probably adding to the total um, term and total cost of your loan. So that's very important to be aware. It's, it's not a free, um, a, 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 an actual um, um, free holiday. Uh, if you have a mortgage, um, a retail mortgage, you may um, be able to get the six-month um, holiday, which is a deferment of payments, although the interest 
will still keep plopping up in the background. You will have mm-hmm. to back. Mm-hmm. The main thing, I, you know, the main message is um, call, um, call up and call early. Don't, don't, mm-hmm. um, don't sit around, you know, um, stressing and, 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 and letting things just get worse and worse. Mm. Cool. Thanks for that. And so I've seen some advertising for loans about which can be given immediately and there'll be no um, financial checks. Um, is this a good option if I'm needing some help quickly? Yeah, look, um, be very careful. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's unavoidable that, some, that people will have, um, and may have to borrow more um, uh, because of job losses, because of um, their income reducing. If at all possible, um, borrow f- uh, friends and family if you can. Um, there are some interest-free options, but I dare say, you know, they, they, may, they may be quite inundated or, you know, busy with people checking them out. And those interest-free options are the Good Shepherd, um, a Good Shepherd team or Good Shepherd. If you Google Good Shepherd New Zealand, you'll be able to find out more information. And also Nga Tangata Microfinance, they also yeah. offer interest-free and um, uh, loans. Again, there may be a capacity issue. They may not be able to handle um, all the requests, but it's just part of this general shopping around before you kind of go straight to the, you know, the, the lender that you've perhaps always had the relationship with or the lender that's on the corner of the supermarket or uh, it's just, you know, what, the easiest one to go to um, is shop around and yeah. look at your options. Yeah, yeah. Now, if someone feels like their lender has acted unfairly or something's, been done that's not um, quite right, what should they do? Yes. Yeah, look, um, our advice is anytime you have a dispute or a disagreement um, um, with your lender, with anyone really, give them a call first. Um, you have to talk to the lender before you can actually trigger um, uh, some, other, some of these other um, um, solutions. Uh, so talk to your, um, um, talk to your, uh, excuse me, talk to them first yeah. and then, um, yeah, uh, and then um, um, uh, if they if they if they if you're not satisfied with the response, excuse me, Justin, um, there are other options. Um, yeah, yeah. You can call up. Every lender has to belong to what they call a dispute resolution scheme. Yeah. Which means um, your loan agreement or your um, you know your uh, overdraft agreement, whatever that is, it will have a section and they're telling you if you have any disputes or problems to give them yeah, a call. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Um, the best, you know, some of the the beating heart of the community are our our um, our, our CABs, our budget mm. advice services, and our community law centres. Yeah. So, uh, you know, of course, um, go to whatever's closest. Um, give them a call first because sometimes the, as you'll know, self Justin coming from money law centre, they may have a, a a lawyer that that has a clinic every couple of weeks, so you may yeah, have yeah. an appointment to see that lawyer. Um, but it's it's there there are there are people that can give you advice, um, and and also, um, Commerce Commission would love to um, to hear um, what's going on with you as well. And we have yeah, a yeah. free phone number 0800 943 600 or a website which is dub 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 uh, sorry uh, uh, um, contact at com com dot nz cool cool and we'll make sure we put those links into the um in- thanks so much for joining us today uh joseph i've just got a final question um so there has been some reports of price hikes at our supermarkets and um uh, some of the shops around our communities. Um, is that legal? And um, what should people do if they feel like it's unfair? Yeah, Justin, um, the, the, the short advice is it is legal to, um, to raise your prices. Um, the sort of the longer bit of advice is if a, a, a retailer or if, if the seller is, um, is lying about the reasons for those pr- um, price hikes, then they could be breaching the Fair Trading Act, which which stops companies from making false representations or misleading statements. So it's not illegal, um, but you know, our advice is why not ask the shop, ask the owner, ask the manager why have they um, why have they increased the price from you know we're hearing five dollars sanitizers to fifty dollars. If you're not satisfied with their response, you may think they're not telling you the truth. 
um, uh, contact um, the PriceWatch web uh, email, which is PriceWatch, P R I C E W A T C H, at M B I E dot G O V T dot N Z. Send them um, the details of that. And also at the Commerce Commission, we'd love to hear uh, of, of, of any, um, anything similar, anything like that. Um, yeah, so, you know, ask why um, the, the price has increased uh, so much. And if you're not happy with that, um, let us know the details. Great, great. Oh, great. Thanks for coming on this, uh, today, Joseph. It's great to have you in this role at the, as Thanks Associate again. Commissioner at the Commerce Commission. And um, we really appreciate your time. And until next time, guys, just um, stay informed and connected and we will get through this lockdown together.